University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Two more teams rejoin us tonight, having lost their first round matches, but with scores as high or higher than those of several teams that won. At stake is the final place in round two of the competition, with Newnham College Cambridge having made the most of their second chance last week. In the first match of the series, the team from Bristol fell victim to a late surge from Durham University, who took the last three starters to finish 10 points ahead at the gong. Up to that point, however, impressive knowledge of fine art and Scottish geography had taken them to a score of 185, which turned out to be the highest losing score of all the first round matches. Playing on behalf of 27,000 students with an average age of 21, let's meet the Bristol team again. Hi, I'm Sam Keeler. I'm from Wolverhampton in the Black Country and I'm studying medicine. Hi, I'm Jacob McLaughlin. I'm originally from Gloucester and I'm studying economics and maths. There, Captain. Hi, I'm Tess Richardson. I'm from Reading and I'm studying chemistry. Hi, I'm Alejandro Ortega. I'm from Chaffon St Peter in Buckinghamshire and I'm studying physics and philosophy. Now, the team from Oriel College, Oxford, built up a comfortable lead in their first round match. Then, around the halfway point, seemed to decide that it was a job done. Before they switched off, they answered very well on psychology, classics, and, somewhat to their own surprise, the works of the rapper Lil Nas X. Mr Ford has rejoined his team tonight, having missed round one due to illness, so with an average age of 28... And representing only 500 students, let's meet the Oriel team again. Hi, I'm Thomas Ford. I live in Norway, although I'm from the US, and I'm studying for an MBA. Hi, I'm Jarek Chong. Originally from Malaysia, I study physics and philosophy. Their captain? Hi, I'm Tanmay Vish Prabhu. I'm from South Oxfordshire, and I'm studying for a PhD in engineering. Hi, I'm Katie Marchant. I'm from Leeds, and I'm studying ancient and modern history. OK, you all know the rules. Fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. Times Arrow and Heat Death of the Universe... Bristol McLaughlin. Kingsley Amos. No, you lose five points. Expressions associated with what thermodynamic property formulated by the Rudolf... Oriel Chong. Entropy. Entropy is correct. <laughs> These premises are on fallacies and biases. In each case, identify the term from the description. Also known as the I-knew-it-all-along phenomenon, the tendency to overestimate one's ability to have foreseen an outcome, for example, in an experiment, sporting event or a political election. Um, it's, it's not confirmation, confirmation bias, is it? Yeah, mate. Uh, I don't think it is, but go for it. Confirmation bias? No, it's hindsight bias. Okay. The false assumption that for repeated independent trials the same outcome is less likely if it has already occurred frequently, or more likely, if it has occurred infrequently. Which gambler's fallacy? Gambler's fallacy. Correct, or the Monte Carlo fallacy. And the tendency to favour information or results consistent with one's existing beliefs <laughs> or theories, and to ignore contradicting information or evidence. Confirmation bias. Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> I need the name of a composer here. In reverse chronological order, Egypt... Rome, Naples, Seville, the chateau of Aguas Frescas near Seville and Crete are settings of operatic works by which prolific composer born 1756? Bristol McLaughlin. Verdi. No, you lose five points. Uh, Oriel Marchant. Um, Rigole uh, no, pass, sorry. No, it's Mozart. Right, ten points for this. What Greek letter represents all of these? In molecular biology, Bacterial protein involved in the termination of transcription. In physics, density, and in... Bristol Ortega. Rho. Rho is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on botany. Also known as flowering plants, what group of vascular plants is characterised by seeds that develop in an enclosed ovary? It's angiosperm. It's angiosperm, yeah. 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 Angiosperms? Angiosperm is correct. A characteristic of angiosperms is the presence of meristems and cambia. These extend the length and width of the plant respectively and are thus the only locations of what physiological process? 
Um, Photosynthesis? Yeah, I think so, yeah. That makes sense. Is there anything else? Or like. I just I, I can't think of anything. Else. Transpiration, maybe. Transpiration. But photosynthesis makes more sense. Yeah, oh, yeah go for it. Okay, um, photosynthesis. It's mitosis. Oh. Angiosperms may be contrasted with what other large group of vascular seed plants whose name means naked seed? Gymnosperms. Yeah. yeah. Okay, gymnosperms. Gymnosperm is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Referring to a concept explored by Albert Camus, the critic Martin Eslin used what four-word term in a 1961 essay? Bristol McLaughlin. Theatre of the Absurd. Theatre of the Absurd is correct. <laughs> yeah. These bonuses are on ways of walking, meaning stroll or walk with a leisurely gait. What word does the author Robert McFarlane relate to pilgrimage because of its resemblance to French words meaning sacred place? Sacre... I have nothing to ask. What did you have that one? I don't know, gamble. Yes, uh, ramble doesn't really make any sense. Ramble, I like saunter. 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 Yeah, I like saunter. Yeah, it's yeah. French. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, saunter. Saunter is nice. correct. Lovely. Meaning wander aimlessly or in a circuitous way, what word derives ultimately from the name of a river in Asia Minor, noted for its binding course? Like Turkey. Tigris, Euphrates. Um, it's not really Asia Minor, actually, that's Turkey, isn't it? it is. I can't really think of one. I can't think of one. Just say ramble. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Ramble? No, it's meander. Mm. Oh. And finally, meaning to walk in a self-important way, what short verb appears along with frets in a speech by Shakespeare's Macbeth following the death of his wife? Stride. Str stride. Yeah, strut. I like str strut. Oh, strut. strut. I like yeah. strut. Yeah. 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 Strut? Strut is correct. <laughs> We're going to take a picture round now. For your picture starter, you're going to see a map showing the location of a ruin of the ancient world, now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Ten points if you can name it. Bristol McLaughlin. The Parthenon? No. Uh, Oriel Ford. Temple of Athena. Nope, it's Delphi. Right, another starter question now. What short term denotes soil that contains roughly equal amounts of silt and sand and slightly less clay? The same word appears in the name of a fictional county that is the setting of novels by George Eliot. Bristol McLaughlin. Oggs. No, anyone want to buzz from Oriel? Uh, Oriel Chong. Loam. Loam is correct, yes. <laughs> now, you'll recall that we saw Delphi on a map for our picture starter. The Omphalos at Delphi is one of several locations historically described as the navel of the world, three more of which you will now need to identify. Five points for each location you can name. First, this city. Is it Machu Picchu? Yeah, um, I think so. I'm happy with that. Machu Picchu. No, it's Cusco. Secondly, oh. this site of pilgrimage... Varanasi. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that on the Ganges? Let's yeah, go with give that. it a shot. Varanasi. No, it's Bodh Gaya. And finally, this island... Um, Easter Island. Easter Island. Easter Island is correct, Rapa Nui. <laughs> This. The Sundata or Sunjata story is an epic in the Mandinka language that concerns the 13th century founder of which empire? Sharing its name with... Bristol Kila. Ghana. No, you lose five points. Sharing its name with the present-day country, its later rulers included Bansa Musa. Uh, Oriel Ford. Mali. Hmm. Mali is correct, but I can't accept your answer because... Mr Ford, you buzzed, and Mr Chong, you answered. So, we're going to take another start of question now. Mother combing Sarah's hair and the child's bath are among the works of which artist born 1844, a friend of Edgar Degas? She's credited with popularising Impressionism in the USA. Bristol McLaughlin. Cassatt. Mary Cassatt is correct. <laughs> so, these bonuses, Bristol, are on... An Indian painter, a leading painter of animals and birds, Ustad Mansur, was named Wonder of the Age by which Mughal emperor? He succeeded his father Akbar in 1605. Is this like Babi Shah? Is that one? Uh, it's sure. I was going to say Akbar before he said that. Okay. So, is um, Baba one? Baba, no, who's the founder? Was it? Baba was the founder. So, if you've got another one, because I only know those two. Babi Shah. I might make that up. Babi Shah. Yeah. Babi Shah. Uh, Jahangir. 
1612 work by Mansour marks an early arrival in India of what large North American bird known binomially as Meliagris galopavo? A turkey is a North American bird? Yeah. Yeah, or yeah. Like yeah. albatross. I don't know. Uh, turkey would make sense. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah, sure. Well, I don't know. What it's were you going to say? I said albatross, but I, I know. Mm. That's not oh, a turkey. Turkey. Go for okay. turkey. Yeah. Turkey? Turkey is correct. Mansour produced one of the few colour depictions of a living member of what species, native to an island captured by the Dutch Do in 1598? Dodo. Yeah, Dodo. Dodo is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. In classical dynamics, what is the kinetic energy in joules of an object of 500 grams or half a kilogram moving at a speed of four metres per second? Bristol Ortega. Four. Four is correct. You get three bonuses on short novels. Described as a loose, fragmentary prose poem, Antwerp is a work by which Chilean author who died in 2003? His other works include 2666 and Bellano. The Savage Detectives. He's called Bellano. Nominate McLaughlin. Bellano. Orlano is correct. Described as a horror story about child rearing, the Fifth Child is a work by which Nobel laureate who died in 2013. She also wrote The Grasses Singing and Children of Violence. Uh, Lessing. <laughs> Nominate McLaughlin. Lessing. Boris Lessing is correct. Published posthumously in 1941, Between the Acts was the final novel of which British author set on a single day in June 1939. It concerns a pageant staged in the grounds of a country house. I think it's Wolf. I, it sounds Between the bit... Acts, I'm, I've yeah. heard it. I'm pretty sure it's yeah. Wolf. I was Virginia Wolf, yeah. yeah. Okay. Virginia Wolf. Virginia Wolf is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> what animal links all of these? The nicknames of George Clemenceau and Tipu, the Sultan of Mysore. <laughs> Oriel Ford. Tiger. Tiger is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on scientific terms. In each case, identify the term from the description. All three answers begin with the same four letters. Resulting from the random motion of molecules, a process by which there is a net flow of matter from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration. Diffusion. <laughs> Diffusion. Correct. Secondly, a phenomenon caused by interference in which waves such as light and sound waves spread out as a result of encountering an aperture or obstacle. Diffraction. Diffraction is correct. And finally, the process by which cells, tissues and organs acquire specialised features, especially during embryonic development. Differentiation. Differentiation is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> what single word term is used to designate languages such as Sumerian, Etruscan... <laughs> Bristol Keeler. Isolate. Isolate is correct. <laughs> You've got three questions on session musicians. An early example of a racially integrated group. Who were the house band at Stax Records in the 1960s, performing on tracks by Wilson Pickett, Sam and Dave and Otis Redding? Their hits include the 1962 instrumental single Green Onions. <laughs> no. Anyone got anything? I've got no idea. But what's a reasonable name of a band? The... Is that any point? <laughs> the Lightning. Say The Lightning. The Lightning. There was Booker T and the MGs. Oh, close. The Wrecking Crew was a collective of session musicians associated with which controversial record producer known for his Wall of Sound production oh, style? He died recently. Yeah. Phil... Phil Spector. Yeah, nice. Phil Spector. Correct, yes. The Funk Brothers was the nickname given to a group of session musicians who provided backing for which record companies releases in the 1960s? These included Tears of a Clown, Baby Love, and I Heard It Through the Grapevine. Motown, Motown, right? Yeah, Baby Love. Motown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Motown. Yeah. Motel? Motown. Motown. I'm afraid I have to take the first answer yeah. you give. It was Tamla Motown, okay. and I, so I can't give you the points, I'm afraid. We're going to take a music starter now. You're going to hear a piece of popular music. For ten points, please name the band. The Ice is <laughs> Oriel Merchant. The Clash. The Clash is correct. <laughs> London Calling. It was by The Clash, who collaborated frequently with the British film director Don Letts on both music videos and documentaries. For your music bonuses, I want you to identify three more acts that Letts has made films either with or about. First, this band. Let's direct the music video for this song. I found a picture of you. Oh, 
The Pretenders. The Pretenders. It is The Pretenders. Secondly, this jazz musician and band leader, subject of a documentary by Let's. What's the top instrument? The, the like, piano, drums, and what else? Saxophone. Saxophone. Dave Brubeck. Hmm? Dave Brubeck? Oh, could be, yeah. Maybe. Dave Brubeck? No, it's Sun Ra. Oh, okay. And finally, this band, Let's filmed a tour diary with them in 2006. Oh, wait, I'm rocking tonight. This is more recent. It sounds like... I hate Franz Ferdinand. It's the same sort of music as Franz Ferdinand, but I feel like they might be American. Mm, I don't know. So, just say Franz Ferdinand and Franz Ferdinand. Franz Ferdinand is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Obtained mainly from natural brine deposits and having a melting point of minus 7.2 degrees, which halogen element is a red volatile liquid... <laughs> Oriel Chong. Bromine. Bromine is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on the Lake District. The Lake District is often compared to a wheel with valleys and lakes as spokes and the hub roughly at Dunmail Rays. This point lies north of which village, the location of Wordsworth's Dove Cottage? Um, do you know the Wordsworth? Mm. I don't know where that is. Windermere. Well, because it's, it's Windermere Village. Windermere. Windermere. Come on. Windermere. Windermere. No, it's Grasmere. Grasmere. What body of water lies to the northeast of Dunmail Rays and is after Windermere, the second largest lake of the national park? Ooh. That could be Coniston. Is it Coniston? Coniston Water? No, it's Ulls Water. Hmm. And finally, what name links a village, a lake, and a peak known as the Old Man, a few miles southwest of Grasmere? Coniston. Coniston is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. I need the name of a person here. Quote, Philosophy is not a theory or a doctrine, but rather an activity. Who wrote this in German in a work published in 1922? Uh, Oriel Ford. Wittgenstein. Wittgenstein is correct. <laughs> You get a set of bonuses on architecture in Central Europe. Malbork is a Gothic castle complex built in brick by the Teutonic Order and dating to the 13th century. It is situated a little inland of the Baltic Sea in the north of what country? From the Baltic Sea, I mean sea. Poland or um, Poland or maybe Lithuania. Oh, Teutonic. So Germany. No, Germany. Germany. Or... Um, it's either Germany or Poland. Um, Germany. No, it's Poland. Sorry. Which city on the River Vistula is listed by UNESCO for its imposing medieval buildings, including the house of the astronomer Copernicus? So this would be somewhere in Poland. It is in Poland. The Vistula. Is that Lodz? Lodz. Or, or is it, like, Warsaw? Any of these. Come on. We'll have to pass, sorry. It's Torun. Described as the largest timber frame Baroque ecclesiastical buildings in Europe, the Churches of Peace are in which historical region of southwest Poland? Um, Is that like Silesia? No. Oh, maybe. I was going to say Bohemia, but I think that might oh. be. Oh, okay. East. well, that's more Czech, isn't it? Czech yeah. Bohemia? I think Silesia but might be a better one. Nominate Ford. Silesia. Silesia is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. The Elan, Lug and Mono are tributaries of what river? It is the fourth longest river of the UK and joins a large estuary at Chepstow in south-east Wales. Uh, Oriel Marchant. Seven. No. Bristol McLaughlin. Why? Why is correct, yes. <laughs> so you get the set of bonuses there on winners of the BAFTA Award for Best Documentary. Give the title of each film from the description. Firstly, a 2016 film by Raoul Peck, inspired by an unfinished memoir by James Baldwin. I need the precise title here. Um, the Fire Next Time is by Baldwin. The Fire Next Time. Yeah. The Fire Next Time. No, it's I Am Not Your Negro. Yeah. Secondly, a 2016 film by Ava DuVernay, 
discussing the US prison industrial complex and the over-incarceration of people of colour. The film's short title refers to the US constitutional amendment that abolished slavery. 13th. 13th Amendment. Uh, 13th. Just 13th. 13th? 13th is correct. Finally, a 2020 film by Pippa Ehrlich and James Reed. It documents the relationship that develops between the filmmaker Craig Foster and the titular mollusk over a series of free dives. Oh, oh it's that's an the octopus. octopus. Mm. Uh, I, I don't know what it's called. My friend the octopus. Like. Oh, it's the there is a octopus. My friend for something. Name. But it's the name of the octopus. Oh, I don't know. Just don't say know. something. My friend the octopus. No, it's my octopus teacher. Ten <laughs> points for this. In 1965, the US writer Alex Haley, co-author of the autobiography... Bristol McLaughlin. Malcolm X. Malcolm X is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on Greek letters. What letter of the Greek alphabet shares its name with a water-dwelling humanoid in Japanese folklore. Kappa. Often depicted with a bowl on its head, it's said to like cucumber. It's Kappa. Kappa. Kappa is correct. In mathematics, the zeta function is often preceded by the surname Euler, or by that of which German born in 1826? Riemann. Riemann. Riemann is correct. What is the smallest letter in the Greek alphabet and has thus become used as a reference in English to very small things? Oh. Iota. 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 Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. Iota? Nice. Iota is correct. We're going to take a picture around. Now. If your picture starter, you will see a photograph of two tennis players. Ten points if you can give me both of their names. Oriel Ford. Riggs and King. It was Bobby Riggs and Billie Jean King, yes. Well done. <laughs> they competed against each other in the Battle of the Sexes tennis match. Your picture bonuses are three more pairs of tennis players who competed in similarly dubbed matches. Five points if you can identify both players in each case. Firstly... That's Navratilova and... Oh, did we... Early Take a guess at the second one. Um, I... Nominate Ford. Navratilova and... Borg. No, it's Connors. <sighs> Secondly... That's Bjorn Borg, and it's... <laughs> I don't know. Don't know. I just don't know. Uh, pass. It was Bjorn Borg. He was with Virginia Wade in that photograph. And finally... Novak Djokovic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot her name. Oh. I have no idea. I, I, I don't know. Djokovic and pass. It's Lena. Ten points for this. I need two answers promptly. Lingala is the predominant indigenous language of which two African capitals? They face one another on opposite banks. Bristol McLaughlin. Kinshasa and Brazzaville. Kinshasa and Brazzaville is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on African fauna. The big-headed African mole rat and the mountain Nyala antelope are endemic to the highlands of which large landlocked country of northeast Africa? Northeast Africa. Um, like Sudan, Sudan, is that? Sudan or, makes is sense. That yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Sure. And it's large as well, so. Yeah. Sudan? No, it's Ethiopia. Yeah. yeah. Found yeah. only in Ethiopia's high mountain meadows, the gelada, that's G E L A D A, belongs to what order of mammals? It could be like rodents or marsupials. Yeah, I think it might be a goat. So what? So, like a, what I don't know what order that would be. I don't know what order that would be. I'd just guess. Go with one of the others. What the ones you said there? Yeah. Uh, go rodents. rodents. Yeah. Rodents. Yeah. Uh, rodents. No, they're primates. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's species including the Nubian and the Alpine. Which wild goat has a species called Walia, whose small population is confined to Ethiopia's Simeon Mountains? I think it's ibex. That's what ibex. Ibex, yeah. so. ibex. Ibex is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> What single word completes this 1971 title by the US political philosopher John Rawls? A theory of... Oriel Ford. Justice. Justice is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on a 19th century novel. First published in 1891, which novel comprises seven phases beginning with The Maiden and ending with Fulfillment? Yes. No. Come on, let's have it. Pass. That's Tess of the Dervilles. 
roughly midway between Bath and Southampton, which city is recognisable as Melchester, the steepled city that features near the end of the novel? Could that be Salisbury? Salisbury. Or is it Salisbury? Or like, where's Grantchester? No, it's... We just say Salisbury. 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 Salisbury is correct. Tess of the D'Urbervilles was a major influence on which British composer's Symphony No. 9, first performed in 1958? Britain. Britain. That was Vaughan Williams. Ten points for this. Which Chinese dynasty saw the completion of the groundbreaking work known in English as historical records or the records of the grand historian? Crystal McLaughlin. Han. Han is correct. <laughs> so you get a set of bonuses on Caribbean islands. In each case, name the country from the description of its flag. Okay. Firstly, five horizontal stripes of blue alternating with white. At the hoist, a red triangle bearing a white oh, star. Oh, this is Cuba. So Cuba. Yeah. Cuba. Yeah. Yeah. Cuba. Cuba is correct. And secondly, a white cross that divides the flag into four equal rectangles, coloured in clockwise order. Blue, red, blue, red. Dominican At the centre, a small it? coat of arms. Dominican, Dominican Republic, Republic, I believe. Um, Dominican Republic, I think. Yeah, it's not... Okay. Yeah, I think, you, I think you're right. Um, Dominican Republic. That's correct. Yes. And finally, a vertical triband of blue, yellow, blue, with a trident head at the centre. Uh, Barbados? Oh. Yeah. Bar Bar yes. Which yeah. ones are good? Barbados. I Barbados, think. yeah. Yeah, yeah it's sure Barbados, yeah. Barbados? Barbados is correct. Ten points at stake for this. Which of the classical elements is associated with the Yoruba deity Shango, the Hindu god Agni, the Norse... Bristol McLaughlin. Fire. Fire is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on physical principles. In each case, identify the scientist after whom the following are named. After a Swiss mathematician... A principle in fluid dynamics Bernoulli. that relates the yeah. pressure drop in a fluid to the increase of its flow speed. Bernoulli. Bernoulli is correct. After a French physicist born in 1794, the diffraction pattern created by an opaque object is identical to the diffraction pattern from a hole of the same size and shape. I think it's Fresnel. Fresnel is the famous diffraction. Yeah. Thing, so it's oh, and there's Fraunhofer, but that's it's yeah. It's not, he's not French, is he? Yeah. Uh, nominate. Nominate I'm Ortega. Uh, Fresnel. No, it's Babinet. Uh, oh. never heard of. After an ancient mathematician, the weight of liquid displaced Archimedes. by a floating body is equal to Archimedes. the weight of the body. Archimedes. Yeah. Archimedes. Archimedes is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> I need a two-word term here. In anatomy, what large blood vessels with superior and inferior... Aurel Ford! Vena cava. Vena cava is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on a US state. In which US state is Gettysburg, the site of the major Civil War battle of 1860? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is correct. Around 40 miles from Gettysburg, what is the state capital of Pennsylvania? It is. <laughs> it's Harrisburg. It is. So it was a tightly fought contest, Oriel College, but we're going to have to say goodbye to you. Congratulations to you, Bristol. We should look forward to seeing you in the second round. I hope you can join us next time for the first of the second round matches. But until then, it's goodbye from Oriel College, Oxford. Goodbye. It's goodbye from Bristol University. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>